West Michigan veterinarian has a health alert tonight. She believes an epidemic seriously affecting dogs is connected to a recently opened dog park in Muskegon. All new at 7, 24 Hour News 8's Marvis Herring talked with the vet and a woman whose dogs now have what's called whipworms. The agency that runs this downtown dog park told us they had no idea there were any health concerns until we called today. Tonight they're looking into it. Nala girl, no, you can't be digging holes. Dogs Nala and Rain visit the downtown Muskegon Pet Safe Dog Park off Shoreline Drive about three times per week. Hi, Rain. Oh Sarah Cloud and her mother Bonnie took stool samples to the dog's routine checkup yesterday. They've been acting strange. I saw her scooting her butt across the carpet. And I go, well, we're going, we're going to the vet. I'm going to just take a sample with me. She always looks like she's smiling. They'd also both had diarrhea, and when they visited Pay It Forward Outreach Clinic, they knew something was off by the expression on the veterinarian's face. When the technician came in and said that the stool had whipworm in it, her expression was kind of um, baffled, you know, like whipworm. And she had explained that she'd been seeing a lot of it and that it was unusual. We have seen a tremendous increase in hookworm and whipworm cases. Dr. Sandra Strandberg started seeing a trend the last few weeks. Not just worms, a startling spike in dogs contracting parvovirus as well. Summer when the temperature is 90, we don't really see a lot of parvo. Last week here, we saw 14 parvo cases. Um, the week before, it was 10. week before, it was 8. Strandberg told me these unexpected increases have them asking nearby vets to help. The issues seemed connected. We started asking the clients, uh, were you in a public area? Uh, were you at Petco, PetSmart? Were you at the dog beach, the dog park? Some of those areas. And in almost every case, they identified the dog park. The downtown dog park was the common denominator. While Strandberg says she's had concerns about the upkeep there since downtown Muskegon now opened it in May, the sign clearly states using the park is your own risk. The treatment of both, it was over 200. And um, it's, you know, that, that kind of sets you back. As a pet owner, you do expect these kind of things to happen sometimes, um, but you don't ever feel that bringing your dog to a place that a public place like a dog park is going to be dangerous to your dog. Downtown Muskegon now points out this is only their second month open here at this dog park. They say they're still learning, and if there's any changes, we'll make sure to let you know. In Muskegon, Marvis Herring, 24-Hour News 8.